Hey everyone, Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another quick tutorial in a tool called Clay. For all you social media marketing agencies out there that are looking to quickly determine if a business is currently running Facebook ads or not, this workflow might be good for you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Let me just minimize myself here. So in Clay here, there you have an integration where you can simply find local businesses using Google Maps. And what you'll do is you'll just put in your query here with the proximity radius, obviously the city uh, that you want to narrow down to, and then your search query. In this use case, I went ahead and created a table already for time purposes of just different HVAC companies in my local area, which is Utah. And what they did is uh, found, say, 92 uh, companies. And obviously, it's going to populate with the relevant information uh, on there, such as reviews, rating, phone number, etc. cetera. Um, so in this case, I went ahead and used our best friend, also known as Clagent, to simply find if they are running Facebook ads. And so if you didn't already notice, um, or you may or may not be aware of, if you go to a Facebook page and you just go to their business page, when you go to About and then you click Page Transparency, there's going to be this statement right here, whether or not the page is uh, not running ads or running ads. And so with that, I just simply went to um, Clagent and I just said search Google for just the title Facebook page. Only return back the Facebook page URL and nothing else with 95% confidence. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll put some sort of confidence rating on there just to make sure the response is accurate. In my case here, um, you'll find that it usually bodes well to make it sure that the response is actually going to give you the results you want, right? Sometimes I'll do 90%, but a lot of times if it's very specific, you want to crank that up to 95. And so you can see that here. So that is why I put that in there. And then obviously, a lot of cases it has outputted or output rather um, a clean URL, but then in some cases it has you know certain brackets or additional language, you know GPTisms of of that kind of thing. And so then what I did is I simply used the AI integration where I just extract the URL from the result and only output the URL and nothing else. And then that way this is going to clean the data for me to give me just the uh, URL and nothing else. And then where the magic happens is I'm again calling our best friend Clagent and then I am saying visit the website response which is the Facebook URL. Notice how I put it in quotes and then I put the slug line slash about profile transparency because if you notice here if I go to the Facebook page it is consistent here with the URL along with the about profile transparency on there in which case this page is going to populate. And then I directed it to say and check for the line this page is currently running ads or this page is not currently running ads. Only I'll put one of these and nothing else again with 95% confidence. And then I just ran it and this has worked for me multiple times. This was a fresh table that I ran just to make sure it's still consistent and it has proven that it's still working just fine. So you can see here this page is currently running ads. So if I go to their page and I go to about and I go to page transparency, you could say, see, they are currently running ads. And then if I go to another one, this page is not currently running ads. You can uh, go in there and simply just double check to see if they are in fact doing that or not. Page transparency and this page is not currently running ads. So with that, you'll be able to score um, and qualify your leads to know if they're not running ads, obviously you offer those services as, a, as an SMMA uh, where you can entice them to consider running Facebook ads, right? And then as another extended one, obviously the phone number is usually provided uh, with the Google, uh, but sometimes their Google business page may or may not be different. Uh, but what I did is I used, again, our best friend Clagent to extract the business email, uh, which again, if you go to here and you just simply go to about, and then um, you could go to either about, uh, which is usually uh, displaying that, but or you go to contact and basic info uh, with the slug line. And then I put about, give me email for this business, only I'll put the phone number, oh, this one was the phone number, and then the other one uh, was the email. So uh, with that, let me see here, oh, this, this one, okay, so 
Maybe I ran the one with email, but you get what I'm saying. Only I'll put the email address. Um, I saved another one where it was email, so I must have changed it later on when I created this duplicate column. So, um, But I hope you guys get the point here is using a very simple Clagent prompt you know, to be able to determine if they're running ads or not. And then obviously you'll be able to use that uh, for your relevant info and uh, workflow uh, to provide your services. So. Um, if you have any questions, reach out and uh, happy claymaking.